Hey Wade Watchers, I'm Wade, this is Watch Wade Eat. Uh, yesterday I got the opportunity to go do a taste test, well, have a review slash challenge from uh, Missouri Mike's Barbecue. They're a new barbecue place that opened last year, kind of the start of the pandemic. Uh, started off as a food truck. Business really took off for them. Obviously the food's great, so I can see why. Um, and then uh, they ended up with a brick and mortar place over the winter. It's really cold here, so that makes sense. Uh, and then it just, from there, it seems like they're just starting to take off, do really well here. Um, yeah, um, I got to try their flavors. They had just a regular buffalo, which was super good. Um, they had a spicy garlic. Again, it wasn't super hot. It was like flavorful. So it was a good wing if you just want to try something or, you know, a little bit of heat. And then they had the honey barbecue, which I'm not usually a barbecue fan, but those were pretty good. <clears throat> nice and sweet, not too ketchupy. And then the wings that I came for, um, I spoke with the owner, Mike, and uh, we set up kind of an arrangement for me to come try some more than hot, more hot than his usual sauces, we'll say. Uh, it ended up being a peach bourbon uh, barbecue sauce. Uh, it had like, you know, the regular barbecue sauce base and then brown sugar, bourbon, peach. They also used smoked chipotle peppers, cayenne, and then extract from ghost and reaper peppers. So it came out to be a really nice sauce. Uh, I was really surprised that it was extract, honestly, because usually you can kind of taste the extract in a sauce, and this was nice and smooth, and it wasn't too intense on that. So I mean, they nailed it for using an extract, and it was, it was really great. Um, they were, they, I would have put them about the heat level of the wall challenge I did at Wings, etc. So they were, they had a lot of heat to them. Um, they wouldn't be something that just anyone would want to try. You know, if, if you like hot wings though, then these would have been great for you. Um, anyway, we'll jump into the video here. Uh, see the review. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, check out Missouri Mike's website below. All right, well, let's see what happens. When you first walk into the place, you can see they've got a menu up ready to go. Shows you uh, just what's going to be going on for the day, daily specials. If, as you look around, you'll notice there's like a real family atmosphere in this place. Uh, they've got it nice and spaced out, so everybody's staying safe right now. Um, if you go around the corner, they've got a nice little pool, uh, pool area, a two pool table set up for you. So it's really great. Um, and also it looks like they have like maybe a stage. I'm not sure if that's for events or potentially live music. Um, but hopefully some live music because that would be a lot of fun to do there. Um, outside they have their giant smoker. It was awesome to look at. Like I just love checking it out. And then you get to see the original food truck and then they also do some catering and events. So that's their trailer for that. Um, again, Missouri Mike's over on Chestnut. Go check them out. Hey friends, I'm uh, at Missouri Mike's. I'm going to be doing a review with their wings. I also, the owner Mike, uh, made some special hot sauce for me to try. So I'm going to be doing those as a challenge. And I'm just doing these ones just to try them out and do a review real quick. So I'll be saving these. So you notice I don't eat all of these ones. But I will be eating all six of the hot ones because that's kind of a challenge there. Now this place, uh, they just opened last year. It was a food truck. Uh, I'll get a picture. Make sure you guys can check that out. Um, but it's uh, it started off as a food truck. Uh, did great, I guess. Uh, it's all homemade stuff. The rubs, the sauces. Um, it's actually uh, the owners also owns the Hickman Auto. If you're from Springfield, I'm sure you're familiar with that. Um, and then as the winter came along, uh, the seasons came on. Outdoor lines don't do well here. It gets a little cold. So. Uh, they found a brick and mortar location, and this place is really neat. If you haven't been here yet, just I haven't even tried the food yet, but just being inside of it, it's a really cool little place. Um, it's right off Chestnut. Um, you know, it's on Chestnut, just past College. If you're heading west on Chestnut towards West Bypass, I picked up a shirt while I was here too. Um, all right, well, um, let's jump into this. Um, so I'm gonna be trying to have a hot, um, a garlic and a spicy garlic, and then also a. Uh, Honey barbecue, which I'm not a huge barbecue fan, but I wanted to try it just for the video. So, <clears throat> all right, well, all right, we'll try out. We'll start off with the the buffalo. Well, the buffalo, they're, they're not too hot. There's you know the buffalo wings. 
but they taste real good. So they smoke their wings first, and then they fry them after to get them crispy. Which I, I, I hadn't heard anybody doing that. I could be wrong. I know Doug out in town smokes their wings too. I don't know if they also fry them, but it's really good. You can see like the color of the meat that it's smoked. It's awesome. So the buffalo are really good. So if you guys if you come here, definitely check those out. Thank you. All right. So let's try out this next one here. I think this is the spicy garlic, but it could be the buffalo or the honey barbecue. We'll find out. Pretty good. It's so just the wings themselves are so good. Again, it's for someone that likes like just regular mild meat, these are really great. So I would I would definitely recommend these too. And the buffalo is really good. The biggest thing though is that smoke flavor. That's it's amazing. Hopefully I'm talking loud enough that you can hear. I forgot to bring a microphone. So that's the that was the spicy garlic again. Those are good. So all right, let's try this honey barbecue. It's really good. I uh, it's not like that heavy. Like my issue with barbecue sauce is usually that it has a lot of ketchup to it. And you don't get that with this at all, so I actually really like this. So now let's get on to the, these challenge wings and see how they go. I'm excited to eat me these. Uh, so the, the, these ones aren't wings that are regularly on the menu. This was something that Mike and I had talked about on the side. So, so I'm not going to eat. While I eat these, I'm going to eat all six. I'm not going to take any other drink while I do it. So, all right. Well, let's see what we got here. Cheers, friends. You can definitely tell the difference in heat from this one to the other. It's kind of sweet. I really, so I like it. It does have like a good build. I can feel it too. I should have asked about what was in this. So it would have made sense. I'll, I'll follow up on that. It's a really sweet sauce. Yeah, there's one. Man, I don't even know how to describe it. Like it's almost like soda, but like spicy, obviously. It's pretty hot. I'd put them with that. Uh, probably where wings, etc. Like right around where their wall wings are. So it's. I mean, they're hot. The thing with me with these, like that's different, is like the quality of wings. There, there's a lot of meat on these, and the flavor, like the meat itself, through that through the smoke, is so good. Like these are have a potential for being uh, the hard, like the, my favorite, like local place. I know I've, this is my first review, but I've tried the wings at local places. For an extract sauce, like you, you can't tell that there's extract oh, yeah, in it. No. Thank you for that. It's awesome. So I, I don't know if you heard that, but I'll clarify. Um, so I had smoked chipotle that they did themselves. Um, I'll have to replay what the other one was, but then it has actually extract from Reaper in there. And for an extract sauce, this is great. But I can't taste the extract at all. But he also said it was like a ketchup barbecue sauce, which was awesome job there too, because I don't usually like ketchup-based sauces, and this is really good. Last one on the uh, challenge wings there, so cheers everybody. Alright, well, 
were able to do all six of those. Didn't get a drink on the, the super spicy ones, but they were good. I hope they maybe consider making that a regular sauce. Because it's, I would say it's probably bearable for a lot of people. And, and if you like hot wings, like here in town, there aren't a lot of places that have, like local, that have especially hot wings. So I think it's a good idea for them to keep making it. I'm going back to those buffalo too, because those are really good. This place I definitely recommend because everything I've had here, every one of the wings was great. Um, just the flavor. They have plain ones too if you just want to try their smoked wings. Um, those, those hot ones are good. It burned me a bit. I give it a out of 10, I give it like a 4. Um, you know, but that's putting like a 10 being like the 15 million beef jerky, 15 million scoville beef jerky or mustache challenges and this being like a sauce. So, this is pretty great. I'm pretty, pretty much loved it. So, uh, I hope you guys liked it. Um, we're hoping to do some more reviews from local places. Definitely come check out Missouri Mike's. I'll have a link to their website below. You can also order them online. Um, but thanks for watching. Uh, be good to each other. Take care of each other. Love each other. Have a great night.